What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and we are about to ride some roller coasters. Here we go, zooming down. I don't do well with roller coasters in real life. They freak me out and big ones make me just scared witless. But this is Stream Ride where I can enjoy roller coasters from the comfort of my home. But it does an incredible job of capturing the speed and thrill of roller coasters in such like an action-y and like score-based way. This basically feels like Trials, like you know, Trials the motorcycle game, Trials Fusion and whatnot, um, but for roller coasters. I imagine if I had the guts, the Nickelodeon guts, to ride these roller coasters, this is how it would feel, like the extreme adrenaline rush. They start off simple, but then you get to stuff like this. We're leaping across, um, which is insane, um, getting some perfect landings using our turbo. It's all score based so you're trying to do different challenges, get more score, um, utilize your turbo and like ride on two wheels um, which is difficult because you might accidentally fall off the roller coaster um, and uh, it, it just captures the whole uh, velocity of it really well. Oh my god I feel like I'm driving freaking R2-D2 space buggy right now. This thing is so dangerously explosive Gotta stay on the course. I love how they take you through like loops. Um, you're going for a perfect mark. You have to hit the X button uh, at the end of those turbo segments, which are the blue segments. There's actually a lot more to this game. It's not like Chuck E. Cheese just sitting there and watching a roller coaster, you know, go through. Um, it's pretty intense. Uh, it's on Xbox One and on Xbox 360. This is obviously on Xbox One here. Um, and there's more modes than this, but this is my favorite. There's a mode sort of like Roller Coaster Tycoon where you build your own roller coasters uh, and then a demolition mode, which a lot of people love. Um, but for me personally, like riding these is the coolest because it gives you an experience that is unlike anything else really in gaming. It's like a really unique concept for a game, which I kind of really like. And hitting the stuff perfectly feels really good. Like I said, there's a ton of challenges and most of them can't be all accomplished in one run. So you have to do multiple runs so it encourages like replayability. And again, kind of like just like that trials type feel where you're trying to get the perfect score, the best score you can. And then you careen across the gap and feel all epic about it, get a perfect landing and cruise yourself into the end. We didn't even crash there, so that's a good thing. But I've done that coaster before. So now we're gonna go to a brand new coaster and things might get a little crazier. So again, there's this this mode where you're riding the roller coasters. There's the creation mode um, where you can make your own tracks. You can actually share those tracks. I wish this game had straight up like couch multiplayer, but it does have leaderboards and it does have the option to share tracks. And then you can also build destruction courses where people have to fling these poor humans uh, and, and blow up as many like things as you can, buildings and screens and fly through hoops. All right, this one is Skyscraper Gully, which looks pretty intense. I've never done this before. I get like a little bit nervous before these races or these coasters. It would be cool if they had two player races. Just because they're so intense. I've never done this one before. So we'll have to see what it's like. Oh my God, that does definitely give me a little sense of uh, vertigo. I'm not sure if you guys are getting it through YouTube, but I definitely get it. We have to dodge these blockers. Um, otherwise you will be knocked off the course, which sometimes is not the worst thing in the world just because it's kind of fun and my, my guys somehow are able to survive like they have the hardest heads and the, the most like good stomachs I've ever seen that they're able to just handle all of this stuff oh geez that one was crazy some of these fast turbo sections are really hard to get the button timing right so you have to like practice them up there we go that was a little better this is just one lap on an epic like up and down all around ride for the centuries. Ooh! Oh god, and they're going swimming too. I'm so sorry. Somehow they're just like, oh, we're fine. They just shake it off and continue. The best sports I've ever seen as they come back here. Uh, and we're just gonna continue. Just try to keep them alive. Oh god, that one was worse. I actually broke some stuff that time. <laughs> They put the track back together though. It's got like a really good humor and charm to it, almost like a GLaDOS type feel uh, to a lot of the stuff in this game, um, which is kind of, you know, if you're a Portal fan or like that sort of stuff, it's pretty cool. Perfect. All right, that was a perfect bonus. Let's see if we can string a couple of these together. Some of those quicker, like, corkscrew segments are really intense. You have to be like on that button finger, ready to hit it at all times. We're going over 120 miles an hour here. Whoa! Yes, another loop. Oh my god, I missed that one. But we get a jump here. Oh! This would not be legal. Yes! Alright, dodge the blocker. 
Boom, get the perfect turbo. Stay on the course. Yes. That was freaking... Oh, God. The track ends with them flying off? What kind of madness is this? I thought we did a good job. Instead, they're... All right, level's finished. They're picking them up uh, in the water, which isn't my favorite way to end an amusement park attraction, but hey, it works for these futuristic freak riders. Um, there's a bunch of different areas, so different like environments and stuff. And I think we just actually unlocked the fourth area of the game. There's six main areas. Um, this is the fourth. Let's see. I'm, I think we're going to go to the next place. Yes. The Caldera Complex sits upon an active volcano. Okay, active volcano. That's my kind of thing. The Caldera Complex. You can see that there's different, like, demolition, um, engineer, and then screenwriter for each section, and you have to unlock them progressively. So I'm still on World 1 um, for the, uh, the other two, but this is my favorite mode of the game by far. Um, I think it's worth it. Probably just for this, just because it's, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Let's see. All right. We've been assigned to this creepy place. You now have access to the exploding coaster. You'll need to tame this unruly machine if you want to make it through the monorails. All right, great. I don't know what that means, but... Okay. Why would you want to maximize destruction when you're trying to ride a roller coaster? This does not compute. With Balance me. On two wheels when approaching monorail tracks to avoid derailing. <gasps> oh crap, there's some segments that actually require okay, that's intense. Alright. Alright, we can make this happen. Here we go. You guys ready for this? A new coaster. A new car. Got it! Perfect starting bonus, get a little boost to start us off, and we're going straight into a loop. Oh my god. Here we go. Whoa! Oh god, and we're already we're already flying off. Let's try that again. Um it has quick reload times, which is critical for a game like this. Uh, so big kudos to them for making that happen, because if it didn't, ugh, that would be bad news. Alright, I'm not going to use my turbo here. I'm going to just try to hug onto the... Okay, good. I did that one early. I Okay. Whoa! Holy crap. That is intense. You have to balance on two wheels, otherwise you actually fly off. You can kind of listen for the audio cues, too, if you want. But sometimes even that will mess you up. Whoa! Holy crap, that was crazy. Oh god, this one is hard. The whole building's coming down. What kind of madness is this? This amusement park is... Oh man, is this the work of aliens? What the heck is going on? Put us back on the track. Okay, it just rebuilds everything somehow magically. And before you know it, you're here. What I appreciate about this game is it's... Break! I don't... You gotta break! It's like actually legitimately... It's just a fun game. It's more fun than, than good. I'm, I'm leaning into this so... I don't know how to do this one. Break. I guess we have to break here. Well, probably not completely break. Let's accelerate a little bit. All right. We should be... Okay. All right. So you have to break a little. I've never actually had to break before, so that's, that's kind of intense. I have to balance on two wheels here, otherwise I die. All right. Ugh. Dang it, I missed it. It's kind of like Rock Band for roller coasters in a weird way. Like, that's kind of how I feel about it. Man, these are... If you played the first coasters in the game, these are so much crazier... Whoa! ...than those ones were. Leaping through here. This is spooky. I would never do this kind of madness. Got a perfect landing. Two laps remaining! Oh my god, that was hard enough for one. It, it legit does get tricky. Like, if you want to actually accomplish the tasks and stuff, it becomes a difficult game. Alright. Go up on the monorails. Monorail, because there's only one of them. I blew it early there, but it's okay. Here we go. Time for this crazy loopy corkscrew thingy. Whoa! And then it twists out at the end. Break! Oh, hallelujah, we stayed on. Now we can boost up on two wheels for a long time here. Okay, whoa. Oh! I tried to turn the monorail into a down rail, and it sunk into the ocean. <laughs> All right, get us back on track. Rebuild everything. Come back together. Oh, you magic man. I'm appreciative of all your... No, break! Bonus. Okay, I got a break there. That one is so tricky. Feels like we're slowing down so much, but we have to. Whoa. Come on, keep it up. Keep it up on two wheels. There you go. All right. Bonus. Good work. We got this. Tiny corkscrew. Perfect us up. Give us a loop. I got you. I'm getting all sorts of perfect here. Get on two, and we're going to make the jump. And here we go, you gotta time the button press here. They start off with tutorials like showing you where to press them, and then they take all the prompts away. So it's very much, it takes the training wheels off, uh, 
you know, almost quite literally with some of these coasters to before you know it, you're having to do everything on your own and not rely on like button prompts or like, so like it's no longer a quick time event, it's more of like a rhythm type thing because you're not, you're not watching for the press, you're just uh, memorizing the choruses and, and trying to pay attention and get your like timing in just right, listening to the sound effects, watching on your screen, break, 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 wrecked. Reset. All right. Again, I love the fact that you're able to just come right out of this and be cool. Like, you don't have to, like, wait or anything. I'm going to break here. I'm going to get a little break. We're good. We're good. We're good. Go. Boost it. Boost it. Up on two wheels. Dancing like a dog. Doing cool stuff. Um, a lot of the challenges are, like, two-wheel bonus challenges. Perfect boost streak challenges. Um, perfect jump challenges. Score challenges. Making sure you can, um, you know, get a certain number of score up on two wheels while also maintaining a pole. Um, certain score. Um, they're pretty cool and they're pretty varied. One thing that is kind of hit or miss is if you like having to do them all at once or not, because some of them cannot be accomplished in the same run. Like one may ask you to derail and one may ask you not to derail. So you'll have to do multiple runs to accomplish all the tasks. And that might be either infuriating or awesome for you, depending on if you like replayability or if you like 100% perfect runs. That was pretty darn cool. Should we do one more? I think so. One more. One more course here. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see what it's got. This one is called Creator Confinement. This man-made creator should provide a decent test of your blossoming abilities. Um, they're putting me through the uh, the tests and trials here. Again, it's got a little bit of that portal feel, just the aesthetic and sort of the robotic nature of our overseers here. Here we go. We're starting off this is a one lap. It'll be a great way to end this video, getting a good bonus to start us off. Another good bonus, a perfect bonus. In fact, boom, two perfect bonuses. Let's do this loop. Oh, I missed that one. The loops are the hardest because you come out of it and your eyes have to instantly be ready to hit the button. All right, here we go. We're staying on track. I wish I had the guts to, uh, to uh, ride these kind of coasters in real life. I just, I think I would cry so hard. The biggest roller coaster I've ever ridden. Oh, I'm gonna retry this one. Is the uh, Rock and Roller Coaster at Disney World, which I know isn't even big, but it has a loop. I had a massive Perfect. headache afterwards, if that counts for anything. Perfect. I don't know, I just have like a very sensitive body, Perfect. so roller coasters, besides me being like absolutely terrified of them, um, they kind of just like freak me out from a physical standpoint. Ah, that's the one I missed again! I had a nice triple streak of perfect. And I blew that one early a little bit. Alright, let's break along this corner. Um, they also have speed challenges, like accomplishing the coaster in a certain number of time. Whoa, get up on one wheel. So you gotta make sure that you're maintaining um, a certain speed to clear a certain time, all that gets a break. Okay, whoa. We slowed down tremendously, but we're gonna get a bunch of speed back up here. Here we go. Up on, whoa, come on, bow. oh, goodness gracious. Oh my God, this is intense. Go, 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 we got it, we got it. Yes, and now there's more. I, I always blow my load early on those ones, oops. I think I would blow chunks all over if I was actually on this. Right, early, average, and late. Perfect. Okay, cool. A nice straightaway. This is a big curve, a banking curve here, so we're going to slow down a little bit. Add some speed into it. Okay. Beautiful. And a big, it looks like there's a big jump coming up, which should be epic. Stay on the track, buddy. Stay on. Oh my god! That was a headshot. Okay, put us back on the track. Forget about that. Erase that from your memory. Gosh. If you're afraid of falling off a roller coaster, this is not the game for you. Here we go. Here's the big jump. Yes. Over the gap. Mind the gap. Land it with a perfect landing. And we're coming in for another boost segment here as we approach the end of this track. Boom. Oh, God. We got to be up on two. Up on two. Up on two. Oh, my God. Okay. Switch it to the monorail on this side. The monorails actually aren't as hard as I thought they'd be good. Oh, my jeez. Whoa. Stay on. Boom. Big boost. And we're coming. We got to come into the station soon, right? Holy crap. Too late. Going in freaking so fast, everything it seems late. Oh, no! Oh, man. As much as I want to do these perfect, it's almost more beautiful when you screw up on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it wouldn't be the same game if you did it perfect every single time. Like, half the charm is the fact that you're you're crashing. Ah! So hardcore. Boost, 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 finish. What do you guys think of Scream Ride? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it has been a blast to play. So hit that like button if you had fun today. Drink so much all. Until next time, guys and girls. 
go pick these guys out of the water and give them a handshake. They did a good job surviving for us. And you guys always do a good job supporting me. Thanks as always. I appreciate you so much. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time, thanks again. We will see you all later.